Hello, Chamber members. This is Lily White, the Vice President of External Affairs here at the Columbia Chamber of Commerce to give you another government affairs update. This week and last week, we've mostly done work up on the Capitol Hill, and so there will be a lot of state updates today. We did also attend City Council this week, and most of what we paid attention to was some more conversation about recreational marijuana. There was two different areas that that was discussed this week, including business license and admitting a city code relating to marijuana uh, businesses and recreational uses. So uh, we're continuing to follow that information at the city level and on to the state level. So for this video's purposes, we've had a lot happening at the Capitol, including the governor has announced the reward of several grants across the state for broadband, including one right here in Boone County to our members over at Socket. We wanna congratulate them and we look forward to seeing all of the great benefits that come from that grant, as well as the Chamber of Commerce was asked by members and uh, partnering organizations to testify on two separate bills this week and last week at the state capitol. So we testified in front of the Insurance Policy House Committee and the House Committee on Small Business. The Small Business House Committee, we testified on House Bill 417, which you can Find more information about on house.mo.gov or feel free to reach out to us here at the Chamber to discuss. House Bill 417 is a grant to businesses for offering employee growth in credentials. So we that does affect all sizes of businesses, but it was in the Small Business Committee and we testified on that with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce. You can find a link to an article that quotes our president, Matt McCormick, as well as a video that shows him testifying in front of that committee in the description of this video. So check that out and see some of the work that Matt and I do on the Capitol level, as well as House Bill 277, which was a House bill submitted on behalf of our awesome members over at Missouri Employers Mutual to be private for our members that aren't totally aware of Missouri Employers Mutual's history. In 1993, the state of Missouri did a $5 million loan to Missouri Employers Mutual to get it kind of started. The business opened and became successful very quickly in 1995, and they have paid that loan back to the state with interest since that time. Otherwise, it has basically functioned uh, independent of the state, but because it is considered a state insurance group, it has restrictions on the business that it can do. So we testified in support of House Bill 277. It was moved. Um, both bills have been moved out of committee. One has been heard on the House floor and we continue to see them both progress fairly quickly. And we continue to look forward to working with our members at MEM and the Missouri State Chamber to work on both projects, as well as if you have more information, please let us know and we can put you in contact with the staff over at MEM to learn more about House Bill 277. Um, also this week, the Columbia Chamber of Commerce signed onto a letter with the Missouri State Chamber of Commerce regarding public safety. There are several bills that are on the House and the Senate floor, some of which we're going to be involved in and some of which we will not, but we are always in support of the local Columbia Police Department and Boone County Sheriff's Department and want to really ensure that our local and state elected officials are aware of the effect that public safety have on businesses, both their consumers and their employees feeling safe in an area it makes them more likely to work in that area and to shop in that area. And we wanna make sure that all of the Boone County and Columbia residents are safe and protected in all of the areas that they live, learn, work, and play. So that is all for this week. We will be back in just a couple of weeks with another government affairs update, but as I'm sure you've noticed, there's always something happening at the state capitol and here locally. So follow our chamber Facebook page, subscribe to these videos, and make sure you're subscribed to our emails to get more information. Thanks.